Today I've got Viral Hit, another good webtoon, and welcome to Webtoon Rant again. And um, Viral Hit, now, this is an interesting one. So essentially the concept of this, there's this loser kid named Hobin, and he's pretty much a loser, he can't do anything, he's getting bullied in his class. And one day he looks up on YouTube how to fight, and he finds this weird channel, weird ass channel, with these weird ass tips that he can use to start fighting people. And this is by actually the guy who wrote Lookism. So, you know, martial arts, Lookism guy pr knows quite a bit about martial arts considering how much he wrote in to Lookism, martial arts stuff. But it's just a really cool um, a concept where essentially this guy starts a YouTube channel because he's flat ass broke. He starts a YouTube channel beating up bullies and fighting professional fighters and bullies and these bad guys beating the crap out of them using his skills and uploading it on YouTube to get money. And he eventually does, you know, start getting loads of money and it's really, really cool. And essentially all, all the fights are, you know, how to win a fight against something, against this martial art, against this person, against this kind of person. It's, it's pretty cool. And it's pretty cool, but it's not, it's not like, it's pretty cool. And it's a good concept. It's a really good concept. And it's executed, I would say, it's like a trap execution. It's not executed well, it's, it's a trap. Essentially, all of the story structure is the same. The story structure is, you know, there's a bully that does something bad, the main character loses, the main character learns a new new skill, martial art, whatever the fuck, from the YouTube channel, and then he starts fighting the bully. And you can get, you know, everyone's been bullied once in their life and want to sock their bully hard in the face at least once. And, you know, these are just super powered martial arts bullies. So, you know, you, you learn the martial art, you beat them up, and it feels really good. It feels satisfying for the reader. And it's just, you know, really, really, really cool. And honestly, like, you know, it's a cool concept, but and again, the structure is that it's a trap. It's a way to kind of cheaply, it's, it's very cheap. That's how it feels to me because, you know, it's the same structure over and over again, except with a different martial art, a different character, a different story arc, maybe. And it's, that just repeated. That, that's all this series is, but you know, it's one of the most popular webtoons of all time. But objectively speaking, I don't, I don't think it's, you know, that, that pop, I don't understand it, you know? I mean, I read it and it's, it's pretty good, but I stopped reading it. And this is a couple of memorable fights. Hurry up and use the comb move you learned from Munsung. Intercept his fist when he throws a punch and trap his arms under your armpit. Or do you have any new moves up your sleeve? I don't want to use that move though. He's gonna punch the ever-loving shit out of your face if you don't do something. I really don't. Hop. I really didn't want to have to resort to this. Hey, there are currently 30,000 people watching the stream. What the fuck was that? I practiced for hours. This... Is how you fight, how you win a fight against a kickboxer, but it's still embarrassing. I know you don't have the motivation, the will, or the time to learn a martial art in earnest. I put my faith in Samdaka Pill now, but this move is just seems way too bizarre. So the only way for you to beat a kickboxer in a fight is to use a move from an aerobot, aerobot, fucking dumb, aerobics workout. Baby, Samdak's lost his touch. How am I supposed to beat a kickboxer with aerobics? Amor Fati. Did you just dodge that punt with an aerobic dance move? Fucking lol, that's just a fluke. This guy's just jumping all over for us. But I have no other choice. It's just how life is. Everyone comes into this world with nothing. However, they share some similarities. The number one thing you need to watch out for when fighting with a kickboxer is their kicks. But since we don't have that much time, we just have to make do by practicing just one aerobics move. The Muay Thai guard stance. The move I taught you is only an imitation of that stance, so it's not going to work more than once. That's why you need to do it fast. I can call a Samdok aerobic combo. No kickboxer is going to be familiar with this combo. The second part of the combo is about closing the gap between you and your opponent. And he and then there's a little final test. And then uh, you know there's a little twist, there's a little oh there's a conflict, and then he gets rescued. Or you know, or or sometimes he just beats him. Same thing here, you know, it's the same concept. You know, I don't know, man. It's the same thing over and over again. And of course people like it, and I guess, you know, respect props to the guy who's writing this crap because, you know, you know exactly how, how, what kind of people want, but it, it just feels like a mass 
product, you know, mass consumable product, and it's really well done. But I don't, I don't respect it as much because you know, there's no themes, there's no story, there's no, there's no. I don't feel the stakes, man. I don't, I never feel the stakes when I read these. I just feel like you know, I sometimes feel emotions like, oh, that's cool, that's hype, but I don't, I don't feel the story, and and that's that's the emptiness I feel like some of these stories have, and that's why I rank it a C tier because it was interesting, but it wasn't enough. Again, that's literally how every single one of the fights within the series is structured, you know. There, there's a guy, you know, there's a bad guy, you fight the bad guy, you sometimes lose and you get rescued, you get, you lose, you learn a new martial art to kill him, like, it's the same thing over and over again. I don't know why people like this. I hope, I hope the fans of this doesn't come kill me because, you know, it's just an opinion. But again, man, it, it, you gotta admit, though, it is true that it's just the same exact thing over and over again. And that's my review. And it's, you know, it's interesting. It's an interesting concept. Um, it's, it's executed in, in, a, in, a, in a strange format that somehow works with people. It feels like a mass product and it kind of feels cheap. But otherwise, it's pretty good. So, C tier, would recommend if you have some free time. Bye!